सो गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स वी वुड स्टडी टुडे अबाउट टू इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स विच इज प्राइमरी डेविएशन एंड सेकेंडरी डेविएशन बेसिकली इन ए कंडीशन कॉल्ड पैरालिटिक स्क्वेंट सो अ पैरालिटिक स्क्वेंट इज अ टाइप ऑफ इनकॉमिटेंट स्क्वेंट सो इन इनकॉमिटेंट स्क्वेंट द अमाउंट ऑफ डेविएशन ऑफ the muscles is different in different cases okay so basically i would restrict my discussion today on the paralytic squint so let's say this is our normal eye which i have pointed to the figure a so here let's say this is my right eye and this is my left eye now if i talk about the yoke muscles okay so you know that if we talk about the levo version so my left lateral rectus and my right medial rectus these are the my yoke muscles now let's say if i had a sixth nerve palsy okay so you know the sixth nerves basically supply the lateral rectus okay so let's say in my left eye my lateral rectus is weak so if there is a object here okay so let's say at the point o there is an object to see here there in this condition let's say the eye deviates or i moves to this millimeter okay this is the original position and this is the new position so let's say the deviation here is 2 mm okay so for this 2 mm the left lateral rectus has to move for which the innervation was by the sixth nerve but because sixth nerve is having palsy so the amount of innervation that is there on the sixth nerve okay the same innervation would go to the medial rectus muscle by the third nerve okay why because here comes one important law that we have studied that the herring's law of equal innervation so whenever we have one movement it cannot be isolated so according to the herring's law of equal innervation our medial rectus which is a yoke muscle of our lateral rectus it would also contract so the medial rectus would contract and because our third nerve is normal so let's say it contracts and the new position of pupil is 4 mm from its original position so let's say it is o and this is o dash so this 2 mm is called primary deviation and this 4 mm is called secondary deviation okay and because your the nerve which supplies your yoke muscle in the normal eye okay so here it is normal as compared to the one where there is a palsy so the secondary deviation is more than primary deviation in cases of paralytic squint so primary deviation is the amount of deviation in the involved eye and secondary innervation deviation is the amount of deviation in the normal eye hope you understood the concept any doubts you are welcome thanks a lot